Greetings Manchester and welcome to the May 3rd edition of The Pulse. I'm Ryan Silverberg. And I'm Liliana Hernandez. This week on The Pulse we see how one community event allows students to combine a green thumb with a good helping hand and we highlight a new local business that's bringing this town together one meal at a time. We have all that and more on this week's edition of The, the Pulse. Pulse. coming closer, it's so important to get outside and explore. The Lutz Children's Museum is promoting the outdoors by getting kids to participate in activities that teach them about nature through hands-on experience. Abigail Bailey takes us to the south end of Manchester to learn more. Founded in 1953, the Lutz Children's Museum was inspired by the former chairperson of the Manchester Art Department, Miss Hazel P. Lutz. The Lutz has been allowing children to explore culture, history, and natural science through experiences and programs. One of these programs happened to be the Outreach Program. This is an educational experience where the Lutz brings the content of the museum to different schools across Connecticut, connecting education and fun. We bring animals to schools to teach them about the importance of science, natural history, and um, culture in um, you know, Connecticut. Um, so we try to teach them about um, live animals, ecofacts, artifacts, um, why it's important to preserve our environment, respect our environment, respect the animals inside of it. Their annual farm day is another part of the Lutz that gets the kids outdoors. It's also their biggest fundraiser of the year. It's our largest fundraiser, so it's, we have vendors, there's animals, there's free ice cream with admission, tractor rides, games. It really brings, um, again, awareness to the local community. We bring local vendors, um, shop local, support local, support nonprofits. Um, so yeah, it's a really great way to get out there and meet some animals, um, dance with the local um, band members that we bring, um, eat some local food, shop from local vendors. So it's a really great day, the farm day. Although it is educational, kids also enjoy the experience of the museum with their themed play areas and the animal room. Yeah. Okay. Okay, everybody, we're doing We get to play teachers. You get to play teachers? What about you? The bear. The bear? That's cool. Thank you. Right here at the Lutz Children Museum is where kids are able to learn about nature and animals inside and outside of the building. Keeping kids active, educated, and healthy. From the polls, this has been Abby Bailey reporting. Thank you to all who make the Lutz such a fun place. The Lutz is fun year round, but as the weather gets warmer, it also means the season for work has begun. Spring cleaning is here. Erica Rosek highlights Rebuilding Together, an event in Manchester that gets people active in their communities and active outdoors, helping neighbors with yard work they can't do themselves. This may be a familiar sound to all those spring cleaning and gardening this year. But for some, tasks like this may present a challenge. That is organization Rebuilding Together's goal. Help residents who might be unable with tough yard and housework. Residents in Manchester get spring cleanups done so they get their yards taken care of. The whole premises behind it is to do something for somebody else and to feel good about helping out the local community. Crowds of town members, especially high schoolers, donate their time to rake leaves and dig up weeds. For volunteers, the process is worth it. Yo, we did it. I just, I just have fun being able to work with my friends and work with the community to help this house come together. Some people, they have a hard time cleaning up their house so with a helping hand you know it's like you have people there for you to help you out. This event is not only extremely neighborly for the students but is also a fulfilling experience for the teachers that helps coordinate this charitable act. Some folks do absolutely need uh, other assistance so for young people for adults to come out is really a great service and a great give back. We're really here to um, help our community and really make it a thriving Manchester to be. Spring cleanup can be a daunting task for some, but right behind me, the volunteers of Rebuilding Together are beautifying our town one yard at a time. From the Pulse, this has been Eric Rosek reporting. Spring sure is a busy time, but it's great to see members of the town helping each other out. The spring is busy, but there's one sport that relies on quiet contemplation and time outside. 
golf. I had the opportunity to take a walk with some members of the boys golf team and learn more about what goes into the sport. Hey guys, it's Liliana Hernandez and today I'm going to be golfing with a couple members of the boys golf team. Let's go. My name is Liam and I'm the captain of the golf team. All right, and then what's your favorite part about playing the sport? Uh, my favorite part is uh, going out with my friends, playing golf, just being out here in the sun. It's really nice. What is your name? Uh, Jackson Converse. In the sun. So what are the best ways for you to improve on this team? Uh, just the, the coaches and the players who have been here for maybe a little bit longer really help the, the, newer, uh, the newer kids here improve because golf is a lot of um, smaller tweaks to you know just everything mm -hmm. uh, all your shots and I feel like the the coaches here just make it a really positive place to learn uh, and just a fun environment to uh, improve on your game what are your favorite things to do at practice um, you know just coming out here playing a few holes with the the coaches to um, help pick up on some of the, the smaller things, like the more envir environmental factors of the game. Uh, just the mindset, you know, how to think, how to, how to read greens, how to read like what shots you should take. Mm -hmm. You're actually set up well. Your feet are straight. Have your feet aligned with each other. Okay. Then come back, left arm, have it straight. Then come back. Thank you so much to Liam and Jackson for helping me better my golf skills. From The Pulse, this has been Liliana Hernandez reporting. As the boys' season continues, we wish them luck for a strong finish. Manchester High School always has exceptional students who go above and beyond. Sean Hickey takes us to the classroom to highlight how one student rises above the rest. On March 28th, Harvard University sent out their acceptance letters to high school seniors across the country. Harvard only has a 3% acceptance rate. Of this 3%, Manchester High School is home to one who will be attending Harvard on a full-ride scholarship next year. Mika Arenas has been on an amazing journey at MHS, and all her teachers speak very highly of her. People tend to gravitate towards her because she's just so open, but she f does a really good job of listening to what they say, but also giving her own input. Mika had many accomplishments, and many people can highlight how much she has done for the community. Teacher Jacob Skripik is excited to see all the opportunities that Harvard has for Mika. I know that, particularly with an Ivy League school, um, it can be challenging at times. I know that she has the skills behind her, um, her responsibility, her seeking excellence, her strive for her highest in everything she does will help her get to her uh, lifelong goals um, in, in Harvard and, and beyond. Congratulations to Mika for not only committing to Harvard, but getting into many other colleges as well. From The Pulse, this has been Sean Higgy reporting. It's so great to have students like Mika represent MHS and see her succeed in academics beyond high school. Spring also means prom season. Everyone is eager to dress to impress, and Mia Gilbert takes us to junior prom at Manili's banquet facility to get a fit check. Hey guys, it's Mia. Today we're at Manili's for the junior prom to see what's up. Let's go. Where are the dresses from? Um, mine's from, it's called Beauty Fit um, in the mall. Um, my dress is from Baby Boo. My shoes is from Macy's. My nails from Amy's mom, guys. She's really good. Go to her. Can we get a fit check? Uh, yep, that's it. Dress was handmade in Ghana. Um, earrings from H&M. Um, butterflies from Amazon. David's Bridal. Windsor. Amazon. <laughs> um, the jewelry from Icing. Dress from I don't know where. Heels from Charlotte Rose. These don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know about, don't know. 120 on the feet. 500 on the jacket. Um, 300 on the tie and about uh, 53 on the shirt. And where's your dress from? Windsor. This is from a store that my mom bought it for me, and then this is from That's So Fetch. What are we looking forward to most tonight? Hanging out with my boyfriend. <laughs> did you propose? <laughs> yes, yeah, I did. And what did it say? Can I steal you for prom? Like softball, like stealing the base. Uh, no! 
No. He did it! He did not prompt Paul, so I kept asking him to. <laughs> yeah, I did. What did it say? Um, I don't remember. It's it was oh donuts. God. It was with like donuts, and it was like, I do not, or do not want to go to prom with anyone else but you. Yeah, I did. What did the signs say? Um, it said it would be on point if you went to prom with me. Okay. Ballet, point shoes, like, you know, you feel me? Like, yeah. Are you here with a date? Yes, I am. Did you propose to her? No. Why not? Because I don't need to. I'm the prize. Okay. What are you looking forward to most tonight? I want to dance. Everybody need to finish eating, hurry up and like chow down and get on this dance floor. I'm not about to be the only one breaking it down. Are you going to dance tonight? The party ends when they stop giving out drinks. Yes. We hope to see that tonight. Of course. What's your favorite dance move? The gritty. Who's gonna look better, juniors or seniors? Juniors. Okay. What are you looking forward to most tonight? Seeing Joe Mayo on the dance floor. Yes, Joe Mayo. and the place was so nice. But get ready for May 31st for the senior prom. From the Pulse, this has been Mia Gilbert reporting. Seems like junior prom was well attended. I can't wait to see how the seniors look at our prom in May. While the juniors were getting ready for prom, I was marching to my own beat at Camp Net in Niantic, where I learned what it takes to be in the military. My friend Ryan needed some help, so I made him to an ultimate human specimen. Um, no slacking! But, you know, he's uh, doing good other than that. I asked my buddy Gavin if he could help me uh, be my drill sergeant to just prepare for my army training, and uh, I think he's just taking it a bit too seriously. You know, he's, he's been yelling at me. It, it doesn't even feel like a friendship anymore, but, um, but either way, I'm thankful, and I think I'm ready to go. Hey, good morning guys. It's currently 5 a.m. on April 20th and today is the day that I'm going to be uh, doing my first day of uh, military training. Um, so I just got up. I'm going to make my bed and get ready for the day and I'll check back in in a bit. Okay, so I'm headed to Niantic, Connecticut. It's currently 7 in the morning. Uh, report time for my army training is at 7.30, so we've got about a half hour until then. Uh, some of you may be asking uh, why I'm doing this. Um, as we all know, there's plenty of different options for what we can do after high school for our career, and one of those is the armed forces. So I'm going to give you guys a bit of an inside look at what, uh, what your life might look like if you do decide to go into that. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, guys, we're about one minute out now. Uh, I'm feeling a little nervous because I don't really know what to expect. Um, but yeah, we're we're about to be there. We are inside the base right now. They're they're checking to make sure we're actually supposed to be here at the moment. 
All right, guys, so we're here at the NRC Center in Neantic, um, getting ready to go to work and, yeah, get, get some workouts in. All right, guys, so we're in. We're in the building. We're getting, we're getting everybody checked in, and we're going to go do some workouts in a little bit. Like a soldier yet? Uh, yeah, I think I'm like halfway done with my training. Um, it's pretty easy so far. But I wasn't halfway done. While for now I was standing off to the side practicing, before long I would be thrown to the wolves and forced to face the drill sergeant. I'm going to stand in the formation of the rest of the red phase. Confidence clearly radiating off of me. We donned green jerseys in preparation for our OPAT testing, and we were introduced to our tests. Deadlifts. The medicine ball toss. And the standing long jump. Okay, yeah, 152. However, the most dreaded task awaited me after I finished my other tests. Uh, we're about to do the running portion, which is my strong suit, so I'm excited for that. Before the beep, you will receive a fall. It's going to be easy. Let's go guys, keep moving. Uh -oh. Alright, I made it. Uh, I was kind of showboating a little bit and came back to bite me because I got tired at the end. I almost had to quit, but you know me, I never give up. I can't lose at the only thing I'm supposed to be good at. So yeah, I'm happy with that performance. So I'm here uh, with my red team instructor, uh, Sergeant Cody McVay. Uh, how do you think I did today? You killed it, man. I think you're ready. Thank you. I appreciate that. And if you have any advice for anyone who's maybe on the fence considering joining, what would you want to say to them? Well, I think about when I was, you know, a high school senior looking at my options and I wasn't sure what those next steps should be. Um, but I knew that college was something I should do and I wasn't sure how I was going to pay for it. But the Army National Guard allowed me to get 100% free college tuition, go away to basic training, get trained up in a skill, get in good shape, become an Army medic, which is the position I took. And now I'm back in Connecticut. You know, I was able to serve part time one weekend a month, still go to college for free and still drill in the Army and be a proud soldier in the United States Army. So I recommend this career for anybody. Awesome. Thank you so much. You bet, man. Thank you. All right, guys, so we're headed home now. Uh, we put in some good work today. Um, I'm proud of myself for working hard and uh, getting the job done. I think I did a good job, and so did uh, Sergeant uh, McVeigh. He thought I did a pretty good job, too. So, yeah, see you guys. Guys, we were done recording, but there's literally a tank. I had to get this on film. <laughs> this is awesome! Clearly, you can see the immense effort it takes to be in the Army. We thank those who dedicate their time to their country and all those MHS seniors that may be heading to Camp Net post-graduation. Moving on, there are always new restaurants in Manchester like the latest Pizza Mia. PJOT takes us to check out the business and see other ways our town is growing. From takeout to dining in, delicious food, and a great time, Pizza Mia has it all. This new Italian restaurant at 55 East Center Street has already started making its mark here in Manchester. While this restaurant may be new, customers continue to come back, not just for the good food, but the warm welcome. They are so friendly and very inviting, and it's nice. Owner Juan Orellana opened this restaurant with his brothers not just for the fun of it, 
but also to give others opportunities to find their love for cooking in the kitchen. What makes it different from other places is that we're not necessarily looking for uh, people with a lot of experience. We like to give chances to people who are wanting to learn how to be in this industry. This owner's efforts are just a small piece of the impact he has already begun to create within the community. While Pizza Mia is just starting to make its mark here in Manchester, it is already touching the hearts of the people who walk in the door. People come in, everybody's so friendly, you know, you all get to know other people. So it's nice. Here at Pizza Mia, there's something for everyone. Special food, special drinks, special communities. From The Pulse, this has been PGRT's reporting. Pizza Mia is definitely a great addition to Manchester. I can't wait to try a slice. Well, Manchester, those are all the stories we have for you this week. Make sure to follow our Instagram, MHS underscore television, and check out our website, mhstelevision.com, for all the latest Pulse productions. I'm Ryan Silverberg. And I'm Liliana Hernandez, and this has been The, the Pulse. Pulse.